Tomato Compact Part One and Two, Actual Test Two, Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately forty-five minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part One. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book, and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're working on the road. B. They're talking in a group. C. They're standing on the street. D. They're all wearing glasses. Statement B. They're talking in a group. Is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's staring at the monitor. B. She's opening the file folder. C. She's holding the receiver. D. She's turning on the computer. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The food is being prepared in the kitchen. B. There are chopped vegetables in a bowl. C. There's a stack of eggs in the basket. D. The pitcher on the table is empty. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. They are copying some documents. B. They are drawing a map. C. They're reviewing a menu. D. They are listening to the presenter. Number four. Look the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A woman is opening the windows. B. A woman is painting the shutters. C. A woman is cleaning the house. D. A woman is adjusting the painting. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. They are picking some leaves. B. They're emptying their shopping bags. C. They are buying some products. D. They are standing next to some plants. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. He's clearing snow from the path. B. He's feeding his pet dog. C. He's wearing warm clothes. D. He's checking the weather forecast. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The flowers are being watered. B. The tables are set up on the terrace. C. The people are folding umbrellas. D. The gardener is trimming the bushes. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. A man is holding up some clothing. B. 
They are putting their shoes on. C. A man is designing some footwear. D. They are browsing around a stand. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. A man is sailing a yacht. B. A man is rowing a boat. C. A man is putting up the sail. D. A man is tying up the ropes. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. The warehouse has been burned out. B. The warehouse is undergoing repairs. C. The warehouse is being stocked. D. The warehouse stores supplies. Go on to the next page. Part two, directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear. Did you call the client today? You will also hear, A. Yes, it lasted all day. B. The phone is on my desk. C. Yes, but she wasn't in the office. The best response to the question, "Did you call the client today?" is choice C. Yes, but she wasn't in the office. So C is the correct answer. You should mark answer C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number eleven. Number eleven. Where did you put the file? A. Sometime last week. B. No, he hasn't filed it yet. C. In the office cabinet. Number twelve. Could you give me a copy of the report? A. No thanks. I don't need one. B. Sure. Here you are. C. The photocopier is on the second floor. Number thirteen. Why is Penny going to Washington? A. I heard she can't come until tomorrow. B. She has a conference to attend. C. Yes, she'll stay at a hotel in town. Number fourteen. Is Miss Jones back from her lunch break? A. No, not yet. B. It's always breaking down. C. Go forward a few steps. Number fifteen. What did you give Kyle for his birthday? A. I forgot. Sorry. Happy birthday. B. Yes, he gave it to me. C, I got him a book. Number sixteen. Would you rather rent the apartment for six months or a year? A, no, it wasn't very long ago. B, my rent is one hundred fifty dollars a week. C, a shorter lease would be better. Number seventeen. Have you seen my cell phone anywhere? A. I wouldn't have looked for it. B. Yes, it's on the kitchen bench. C. How much did you sell it for? Number eighteen. Did Miss Jenkins tell you why she lost the client? A. Actually, she found him. B. It happened yesterday, I think. C. They had a dispute about the payment.
Number 19. How much did that digital camera cost? A. It was about $500. B. Around three months ago. C. Yes, the company is cutting costs. Number 20. Let's go away for the weekend. A. No, I don't have any special plans. B. He's been away for a long time. C. Did you have anywhere in mind? Number 21. When is your dental appointment scheduled for? A. 9 30 tomorrow, I think. B. Yes, he's a dentist. C. I was appointed last month. Number 22. Why don't you join me for dinner tonight? A. I've already had lunch. B. Sorry, I have other plans. C. Because it's raining. Number 23. Would you mind helping me shift this table? A. Where are we putting it? B. My shift doesn't finish for an hour. C. It's not mine. Number 24. Where are these supplies headed for? A. They're being shipped to Florida. B. He's the head of the marketing division. C. I'm not surprised. Number 25. You went to the sales promotion, didn't you? A. You mean the one in Georgia Mall? B. No, I didn't get promoted. C. It's already gone. Number 26. Which firm did the new recruit used to work for? A. We don't need to recruit any new workers. B. Yes, I'm firmly against it. C. I'm not sure. You should ask her yourself. Number 27. Shouldn't we attend the training session as well? A. I take the train to work. B. Well, I made my intentions clear. C. No, I don't think that's necessary. Number 28. When are you catching the bus to San Diego? A. Because of the traffic jam. B. First thing tomorrow morning. C. It'll pick me up outside the hotel. Number 29. Do you want to meet at your apartment or somewhere else? A. My place is fine. B. For the financial department. C. I feel like having something else. Number 30. How long does your daily commute normally take? A. I go by bus. B. Around half an hour. C. He's a communications expert. Number 31. Do you know where the town hall is? A. Yes, it is a big town. B. Sorry, I'm not from around here. C. Just down the hall. Number 32. Rita hasn't come in today, has she? A. Sure, she can come in too. B. I saw her yesterday as well. C. No, she called in sick this morning. Number 33. Haven't you closed any sales deals yet? A. Yes, we're open 24 hours. B. That item is not for sale, I'm afraid. C. No, I haven't had any luck so far.
Number 34. Who's responsible for the company picnic? A. Mr. Kim is. B. Yes, I enjoyed it. C. He is very responsible. Number 35. How would you like your coffee? Black or with cream? A. Cream and two sugars, please. B. Thanks, it's really delicious. C. That's my favorite flavor, too. Number 36. Didn't Mr. Clyde return your call? A. He's not returning till tomorrow. B. Was your cell phone on? C. Yes, he left me a voicemail message. Number 37. What are we going to discuss at the staff meeting? A. I wasn't part of the discussions. B. The company's new medical plan. C. Yes, it's tomorrow at the end of the day. Number 38. The movie's set to start at 5 o'clock, right? A. We can go to another screening if you'd like. B. It was fantastic, wasn't it? C. I've never visited a movie set before. Number 39. Can you load the luggage by yourself or do you need my help? A. If it's not too much trouble. B. Yes, I packed my own bags. C. No, it's not loaded. Number 40. Ms. Smith filed a complaint about our customer service. A. Just fill out these forms, please. B. No, I completed it. C. I'll look into it right away.